Welcome everyone to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Today I've got a brand new WWE Elite Collection review for you. And it is the one, the only, Rob Van Dam. Elite Series 91, RVD, and this guy who, when the invasion hit, it wasn't a very successful storyline, but he was one of my favorite guys to come over. He was really different and unique to everything WWE had at the time of the, the, the purchase of WCW. So without further ado, let's move on and we'll check out the box of the figure. So guys, here is the box for the WWE Elite Series 91, Rob Van Dam. So let's go through the front of the box. I have a picture of good old RVD here, always happy, always smiling. It does come with a gray steel chair. We've got the WWE logo up here and Elite Collection on the top, which is new. These are, of course, the new boxes. We've got RVD here looking all good. He's got two arms here, Rob Van Dam, in case you didn't know. It does say plus eight, and there's a Mattel sign here, and there's a little WWE logo here, and it does say true FX. On the side, Rob Van Dam, again, elite collection. On the back, you've got this picture here, you're looking awesome. I have to say, this is quite stellar wave. You've got Hulk Hogan, Austin Theory, who is really big, doing well at the moment in WWE. You've got Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, and of course, Bianca Belair. Below here, you've got Mattel empowering, blah, 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 WD.com, all, all, all that rubbish. Loads of legalese on the back. And again, that nice picture of Rob on the, on the back there again. It does say Elite Collection, and of course, Series 91. Now, you may have already seen my Series 92, Adam Cole. So guys, all that's left to do is to get Rob out of the box. So here is RVD out of the box. And as you can see, he's brand new car. His costume in this figure is done really, really well. Um, as for paint mess up, there isn't a lot on the figure. It's done really nice. There's some really cool details here. And the kind of leopard printy stuff here and the skull. And you've got the knee pads. It does say Van Damme on the legs. Now, there is one massive problem with this figure. And I'm gonna get him down off the pedestal just to show you in two seconds. So guys, the problem I was talking about with this Rob Van Damme is often when I review these WWE figures, the paint jobs are pretty messy. But when I was looking through him first, the outfit is done really, really well. The boots, everything is immaculate. And I'm gonna just put down his hands here so you can see clearly. The paint mess up on his face is absolutely like it's criminal how bad it is. Like if you were to look at it from there, it looks fine. When you touch around the front, now I know it's an awkward angle to get at, but there's some paint mess up on his teeth. There's some paint mess up on his beard. Yeah, it's just not done well at all. And that's unfortunate because the figure is quite good other than that. It's just it seemed to have messed up his stubble a bit. I don't know. Maybe my eyes are imagining things or something, but yeah, it's definitely something off there. And with the true FX technology, you think it was better. The face sculpt is decent. It just looks, I don't know, it just looks extremely messy to me. Um, the hair is done really well, even though it's kind of a different skin tone to his face, which is strange. The ponytail doesn't move, which is fine. And yeah, other than that, like the paint is really good in the figure and he looks really, really well. So let's look at accessories that arrived with him. He did get this really bright kind of silver, almost gray chair, which is um, different, I would have to say. And look at the trademark. The trademark actually says 2011 on the chair, which is an interesting detail, which shows how uh, long they've been making these without making a change. But why, why change a winning formula? It looks fine to me. He also comes with two different hands, two like grappling hands. So when you're not having him doing his signature Rob Van Dam pose, which is pretty cool. I, I think they've come with these before, but he's never had the double jointed elbows to be able to express it properly. So this is really cool. I am a big fan of this figure. And seeing as I mentioned double jointed elbows, let's check out the articulation on this guy. So the head, you get a bit of down, bit of down and up, bit of side to side. You can go all the way around, just be careful of the ponytail not to catch it on the shoulders. Shoulders go all the way around. If only we could get butterfly joints now as well. <laughs> he does have good bicep swivels. 
a double jointed elbow which is great they finally have it there is articulation at the hands in and out as well as around in circles on both ends and the arms do come out this far so you can get him to do his uh his uh, finishing moves stuff like that there is an ab crunch as always it doesn't go back that far but you can get a bit of a bend forward that could do would be better you do get a hip rotation waist rotation i should say and that's really good the light wants to get closer legs you do get you are able to do his splits which is cool almost that way as well there is tight swivels buried under here somewhere they're quite tight they would probably need to be loosened out he does have a double jointed knee underneath that big boot that knee as well you do have boot rotation ankles do standard kind of okay-ish wwe ankle rotation just goes up and down a little bit and a little side to side no toe articulation so that is the articulation on rob van dam we've seen his accessories so now let's just measure him up to an aew figure so to my my left is my assistant hangman page and as you can see these aren't too bad together rvd is a pretty small guy hangman isn't that tall either but these guys look height wise i would think right and uh, a dream match there you might say but uh this hangman isn't great <laughs> that face wow but uh yeah he looks really good he is about the right height there isn't a whole lot more you can say about this rob van dam really he's a great figure looks the right height has good paint more or less except for the face and uh yeah he's an uh, awesome problem with this guy now as well is i think he's only one per case so when i was ordering it on smith's every store you know they had the in stock thing every store only seemed to have one whereas they had two of everything else if you're after rob van dam i would definitely recommend pick up this figure as soon as you can guys it's one of the good ones finally and yeah that has been my review my review for the elite 91 rob van dam you can find me on TikTok, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And like all those pages if you want. If not, thanks anyway for watching. And most importantly, hit that subscribe here on YouTube. There will be plenty more reviews coming. WWE, Marvel, loads of others. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you'll enjoy the photos at the end of the boot, at the end of the review that I've done. And see you in the next one. Bye, guys. See you later.